be making basics. What's going on, y'all? It's Ever J again, back with another video. In this particular lecture, what I'm going to be covering is the main plugins that we're going to be using. Now, just to clarify this, there is an there's an extensive level of plugins that you can or cannot use. Okay, you can choose what you want to choose, use what you want to use. In this course, I really wanted to cover what I use on a day to day basis. Okay, so. Let's jump right into it. First of all, I got or purchased the gold bundle from Waves and it came with a whole lot of different plugins. And a reason why I purchased the bundle instead of doing each individual one, I mean, you just get a lot of extras that you could use down the line, especially like for, for vocals and different things like that. But since we're only mixing the beat, you don't really need to process or over process, you know, the music. You feel me? So I'm going to go ahead and go over these plugins. The first plugin I want to talk about is a program, a plugin called the Valhalla Room. OK, this is a very good reverb. Um, you can affect affect a lot of different things in here. I'm going to be showing you how to use the reverb and affect, you know, use the different effects and stuff like that or twist the different knobs to, you know, control the sound. But this or later on in the course, but this is my go to reverb. Now, there's other reverbs that you can get in rate late waves bundles, but this Valhalla room is it just sounds very warm. It has a real good sound to it. So that's the that's the that's one of the plugins we're gonna be using. Uh, the EQ, um, I like, I'm really just using this four band EQ. It's just a Q4 or the Q10 equalizer. Okay, has four bands. I selected the four band one. It's the 25th uh, anniversary edition. I'm pretty much not gonna need too many more. Uh, bands than that you can you can select up to like the six or eight even you know more than that let me just kind of show you what I mean um, if you go down here to where you get the cues here all the way up into a 10 band EQ I always go with the stereo but I, I I've, I've found most most of the time that using the techniques that I'm gonna be showing you in this course you don't really need too much more than four bands okay really two will be should suffice but a four band eq um we also have this thing called mv2 this plugin is pretty dope i'm using this plugin a lot of times uh, really kind of as a compressor to kind of boost signals okay we can say this is a compressor or a maximizer however you want to phrase it but this MV2 plugin works wonders when it comes to making your beats sound more punchier and things of that nature so that's one of the plugin we'll be using. We also have this thing called the R compressor. You could use this in here as well to get some more oomph. Um, we got a basic compressor right here that I use. It's the C1 comp. You just come in here like so, and it's all the way up. It's just the basic compressor here, but it's again, you know, since it's a waves bundle, everything sounds a whole lot more crisp and clear and this sexy, you know what I mean? Last plugin I'm gonna show you outside of the master plugin right here is um, is this delay. Okay, I use this a lot. This is a Waves Hybrid Line um, H delay plugin. Pretty dope processing uh, power with this and plugin. Okay. Um, last thing I use is, and I know this is not necessarily a Waves plugin, but um, I'm gonna still share about it. It's Isotope Ozone Seven. I know there's other versions. But you want to get some type of eyes of taupe mastering plugin for this because I do use this on every beat um, and I put this plugin on the master output bust. OK, bust. excuse me. Um, so those are our plugins. That's what we're going to be using. Um, I might throw in a, another plugin here and there, but for the most part. Um, and actually, this guy really I don't use that much, but really this, these five, excuse me, these five plugins six if you count this isotope it's all i use to mix my beats okay so you don't have to pull them all up right now but just so you know that's those are the ones i'm using if you want to look those up you can i'll throw in some extra freebies of uh, other things that i'm using um one is through these guys called cable guys 
they have these plugins. One is free. I think this is pan this pancake plugin was free, and this halftime plugin was it was pretty cheap. But I use these two plugins a lot as well. So you'll look up Cable Guys, um, spelled all in one word, and put plugins after that in Google. Their site will come up. These two plugins are what I'm using as well. This Pancake plugin is pretty dope. Basically, what it will do is it'll give your your your, your mix a little bit of space and jumpiness to it. You know, kind of ping pong some of the sounds around um, without having to go in there and automate it manually you can automate you know panning going left and right a whole lot of cool things we'll be talking about more in detail in the course and in another the another plugin a bonus plugin is um, this cable guys halftime okay halftime plugin that's a dope plugin too what that does is it slows the beat down so say if i put this on the guitar let's let's just listen to see how that sounds Instead of it sounding like the regular speed, it's going to be like kind of slow, screwed and chopped vibe. You know, compared to if I turned it off. So it's a lot of cool tricks and stuff that you can do with stuff like that. Um, I'm going to take that off here. Um, last plugin that I, I, I do tend to use sometimes um, is this plugin by uh, Jules Jaden. It's a saucy distortion. We might, we might uh, use that a little bit in the course, but, uh, you know, this is a pretty do dope plugin right here. So these are the main plugins. I mean, again, it's really just going to be top five. This Valhalla um, room for the reverb you know a four band eq from waves this v2 plug-in right here this compressor this is a c1 comp okay or compression all right this hybrid um this hybrid delay i use that some and then there's some bone that's as far as the bonus uh plugins i use the pancake halftime a saucy distortion and of course i got the isotope on the master stereo output okay so those are the plugins i'm sorry if this video is a little bit uh lengthy or kind of dragging on but i really wanted to cover that first before we actually get into the material so thanks for watching if you have questions let me know see you in the next lecture peace